strong faith in my heart. But oh, oh, oh. there's a shifting in the yard of me. As I pray, my Lord, on you. Oh, Lord. Come and help me sing. Miracles are everywhere. Strong faith in my heart. There's a sheet in the yard for me. As I pour my love on you, my love, the time is by my heart. Oh, Lord, I worship. Oh, 
Kanye Maroku Yazame Metono Makaki Chama on Yana Sebere Metono Makaki In your Paramania, get him out. Ya Metono Makaki on your love. Come <laughs> to John the Baptist said to the people, I have baptized thee with water, but he that cometh is stronger than I am, whose shoelace I am unworthy to untie. When he comes, he shall baptize thee with Holy Ghost and with fire. Can I prophesy? Yes, Lord. Before the end of this meeting, yes, fire will set you every battle of your life. Yes. Your heaven is standing on one leg. Yes. I said, before the end of this meeting, yes, Holy Ghost fire shall settle your battles. Yes. I, I, I don't know what you are going through right now. Yes, Lord. I, I don't know. I don't know the situation of your life. Oh. I don't know how long you have been crying. Yes, I don't know the load on your head. Yes, I don't know how you came into this auditorium. Oh, but yeah, what yeah, yeah. is sure yes, before the end of this meeting, oh. you are going home free. Yes, you are going home free. You are going home free. You are going home free. You are going home a new man. You are going home a new woman. Yes, Wave your head and shout hallelujah. Baptist an assignment in the wilderness. He left the wilderness and went to the villa. And then he began to probably preach against Herod and he was incarcerated. He became angry that Jesus never visited him. Can I tell you something? Yes, ma'am. God does not commit himself to what he has not commissioned. Uh huh. I hear you, ma'am. God didn't send him to the palace. Mm. God sent him an assignment gave him an assignment in the wilderness but he left where he was called to where he had not been assigned Cha. and he was incarcerated he became angry that Jesus never visited him let me reiterate what I said before Cha. God does not commit himself to what he has not assigned so you need to ask God for divine direction in 2024. So you will not journey amiss. Am I talking to somebody? Shout to Lord. Oh Lord. Where you send me, I go. Where you send me, I go. Shout Lord. Lord. Where you send me, I go. Where you send me, I go. Give me direction in 2024. Give me direction in 2024. I refuse to do it with my muscle. I refuse to, I refuse to do it with my muscle. I refuse, I refuse to do it with my muscle. I refuse to do it with my muscle. Open your mouth and begin to offer divine direction. I refuse to do it as usual. I will not do business as usual. I will not do marriage as usual. I cut it by the cutter. I got a cut of a letter. Divine direction of God. Aha, first Corinthians three verses twenty where therefore let no one boast the man. For all things are yours. Amen. Amen. All things are yours. We serve a God who wants us to progress. 
we serve a God who wants us to live where we are to where we are supposed to be. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, ma'am. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, ma'am. In the book of Luke, chapter 14, verses 17 B, he said, Come, for all things are now ready. All things are now ready. If it is available in God, it is affordable for you. Amen. Like I said, if it is available in God, it is affordable for you. From today, whatever your eyes see and yes, your Lord. heart desires, may uh -huh, your hand uh -huh. carry. Yes, Lord. Amen. Even I see another hear what they talk. You not hear me. You hear you, mommy? No, you not hear me. You I said, whatever your eyes see, yes, Lord. That job you desire, uh huh. That certificate you desire, uh huh. Yes, Lord. That trip you want to embark on, yes, Lord. That visa you are looking for, ah, yes, Lord. That permanent residency you were, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That contract where you want me to sign. Advancements you desire. Yes, if it is available in God, it is affordable for you. Amen. Sit on the head of your enemy. Thank you, mommy. God's heartbeat is for you and I to prosper. It is in God's proclivity and idiosyncrasy for you to prosper. This is his heartbeat. This is God's desire for his children. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, Lord. In the book of 1 John chapter 1 verses 2, I wish above all things that ye may yet prosper and be in health, even as that soul prospered. In the book of Luke chapter 11 verses 11, the Bible says, which of you, if your son asks for bread, you give stone? Child. If your son, ah, kateparata, mm. as for fish, you give snake. Even as wicked as you are, sure. if you can give good gifts to your children, how much more your God, which is in heaven? Hey, I don't know what you desire tonight, my God. I don't know what you have been praying for. Yes, Lord. I don't know what you have been praying about. Uh -huh. I don't know what your prayer requests are. Oh. Because you have come to Mount Zion, yes, I speak into your life. After tonight, carry answer, Amen. carry manifestation. Raise your head and shout, Hallelujah. Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans God has plans for you. I know the plans I have for you. Yes, Lord. I know the thoughts I think towards you. Thought of good. That you may get married in three months. God say the Lord. As far as your eyes can see. Yes, Lord. If you can see it tonight, you can seize it tonight. Am uh -huh. I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. If your amen is not a carry what you are looking for. Yeah. I said, carry what you are looking for. Yeah. For I know the thought I think towards you. Yeah. Thought of peace. Yeah. Thought of good. Yeah. And not of evil. Yeah. And not of destruction. Yeah. But to give you yeah. an expected end. Yeah. I prophesy. Yeah. Your future is more superior than your past. Yeah. Your future is more superior yeah. than where you are coming from. Yeah. Your tomorrow is more superior yeah. than your foundation i don't know what is happening around here yes, i don't know the history or circumstances surrounding your bed no one that jabba's cried and said uh -huh. god of israel oh. oh god of israel bless me and enlarge my coast yes, i don't know the circumstances yes, surrounding your bed uh -huh. i don't know the circumstances yes, surrounding your foundation yes, but because you are here tonight oh. The hand of the Lord shall correct every error hanging on your life. The hand of the Lord shall correct every error hanging on your destiny. The hand of the Lord shall correct every error hanging around your life. Wave your hand and shout hallelujah. Wave it again and shout hallelujah. Somebody shout tangibility. 
put on the head of your enemy. Hebrew chapter 4 15. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched by the feelings of our infirmity. Yeah. We serve a God who is not deaf. Uh -huh. We serve a God who is not blind. Yes, Lord. Because God is not deaf. Thank you, Jesus. Every prayer you pray on this altar tonight yes. shall carry manifestation. Yes. Factors that expedite tangibility. Number one, put your hands to work. We have declared it is our year of tangibility. Don't stay at home, fold your hands and expect tangibility. You must be able to have the capacity to roll your sleeves. Go into the field. Put your hand on the plow and get to work. Am I talking to somebody? Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verses 10. Whatsoever the hand founded to do, do it with the might. If you are serving God in 2024, serve God with the might. Not in eye service. Her mommy is coming to make her do and well. No. There is no tangibility for an eye service man. Yes, Lord. I hear you, mommy. Whatever your hands find to do, do it with the might. For there is no work, no device. No knowledge, no wisdom in the grave where thou goest. So, if you are doing marriage, do marriage well on earth. Don't be heavily conscious and earthly useless. Sure. Yeah. If you are doing tailoring, do it with the mind. If you are doing action in the house of God, do it with your mind. If you are singing in choir, do it with your mind. Because this is the only opportunity you have to do whatever you wish or desire to do. Because in the grave, we are that goers. There is nothing like that there. So you are doing marriage, let's do it well. Not one leg here, one leg there. You are in marriage, you are cheating on your spouse. Whatever you do, do it with that might. So whatever your hands find to do, do it with that might. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 10. Laziness brings on deep sleep. Oh, show me a man that is always sleeping. Anytime you see him, he's... I will show you a lazy man. And there is no tangibility for a lazy man or a lazy woman. Yeah. And an idle soul will suffer hunger. If you are idle in 2024, no tangibility for you. Go out there and look for what to do. I hear you, mommy. Don't tell me, mommy, there is no job. Create one for yourself. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. yeah. Create one for yourself. Mommy, I'm a graduate. Somebody, one man came to me one time. I, was, I asked him, Oga, you are a graduate and you are jobless. Why? So, mommy, there is no work. I said, why don't you do Tansi Uba? A whole me. A graduate? Do Uba? For what? I better go. That's not the kind of job I, I want to do. And he was big, busy begging for transportation. That's stupidity. Oga, never be ashamed of what is beneficial to you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, mommy. Never be ashamed of what is useful. Anything where you know say is genuine and it will benefit you, it will benefit your generation, it will benefit your family. Never be ashamed of it, even if it's barrel pushing. Go and do it so far as it's legit. Anything you want to have, make it.
it happen, make it a party here. Go and do it. Yeah. Never be ashamed of it. My friends, what will my friends say? When hunger go wire you, those your friends not go look you. What, what, what would they say? Eh? So if, if, if they see me now, they will, they will, they will say, I'm, I'm, I, I am doing a dirty, I, I, am, I am packing sand, I'm carrying block. I go to the side and I'll look dirty. Excuse me. Who needs nurse help? Can I tell you something? There are corporate beggars. They borrow suit, borrow time. You see them on the road, they're asking for transport with fire in their hands. Say, I just misplaced my blah, 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 blah. And when you look at them, you feel they are, they are telling the truth. But they are corporate beggars. So you, when they do, when they pack sand, your hands are dirty. You can feed such a person. Never be ashamed doing whatever beneficial to you, to your family, and to your generation. Do not love sleep. Allow me to sleep now. You have been sleeping since you were born. You have been sleeping since you were born. If you love sleep too much, you'll be hungry. As you see me so, I rarely sleep. Especially at night. Some people sleep. At night, I'm awake. Because they work what they do. Now night, God give me assignment. Look at another say, don't love sleep. Look at another say, sleep, but don't love sleep. He said, do not love sleep or you will grow poor. Open your eyes and you will have plenty of food. In other words, do not be lazy. Anything people do every day. If people eat food every day, sell food. Yeah. Whatever you know people do every day, do it. Go and sell it. Go and look for that business. Whatever people do every day, go and look for that thing and start business towards it. If your hands must work, put your hands to work. If your life must work, Put your hands to work. If tangibility must work, put your hands to work. Idle hands don't carry evidence. First Corinthians 15 verses 10. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. I am what I am. I know. I am what I am by the grace of God. But aside that grace, I they work. Grace is not gotten in vain. Grace is gotten for gain. Grace does not fall on nothing. Grace falls on something. If there is something in your hand, grace will fall on it. Grace does not fall on emptiness. Yeah. Grace does not do what? Jesus had to multiply something. Two fishes and five loaves of bread. He multiplied two fishes. There was something to multiply. So if you have nothing, don't ask for multiplication. Don't ask for multiplication. If there is nothing in your hand, do not pray for an overflowing of your cup when you have no cup in your hand. If you are not a son of a voice, and at least there is something in your hand, between now and the next 24 hours, you shall, you shall experience surplusity. Amen. Force on something. Now listen to this. The first thing God gave to Adam was not a car. The first thing God gave to Adam was not a wife. The first thing God gave to Adam 
was walk. Look at the garden, dress the garden. Before her, it takes finance to service romance. Those days, women used to answer Lovina, but in this era, they answer Monica. Amen. So put your hand to work. That's why you see a man, very short man and ugly. He, ha he has handsomeness. Then you see one fine woman, where they marry. Mm. Hand some. I'm telling you this to prepare you. I want to ginger you, all the men. Jesus, mommy. Do something with your hand. A lot of people work hard, but they don't work smart. So it's only lazy men that will say, let me go and do money rituals. And what? Some of you don't try before you know work. It does not exist. Don't go and ki kill innocent people say they do money rituals. You know, go work. You know, go work. You, there is nothing like that. Now, for African magic, they do that thing. Hmm. It's only work on movies. It does not work in real life. So don't go and replicate it. Say, make I do and you go work. You know, go work. The only thing that will work, let your hands do something. Yes. And make sure what your hands are doing is legit. And then the grace will fall on it. It will blow in 2024. Yes. If your amen is louder, God will enlarge your course. Jesus, God first gave Adam walk. He said, Walk before woman. Yeah, if you are looking for food without walking, it's fraud. Yeah, you want to reap where you did not sow. You are asking for help in this ministry, and you have not made an impact in this ministry, it's fraud. Yeah. Mommy, my heart's right. Mom, I, I have the heart to help. But you know what? It's come for you to go to want to reap where you did not sow. Yeah. You keep blaming your uncle for your failure. See, eh? 2024. Don't blame nobody. Take responsibility. You are not a failure until the day you start blaming people for your failure. Yeah. If you hear somebody say, eh, and nah, nah, because of him, this one do me. Now nah, because of this one, I fall. Now nah, just know that that person is already a failure. Successful people don't blame people. It's only failures that blame people. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 verses 10 to 13. For even when we were with you, we gave you the rules. Now listen, this, this is one of the rules. The one who is unwilling to walk shall not eat. That is NIV. New International Version. He, the one who is unwilling to walk, shall not eat so if you don't walk no food for you if you don't walk you'll be hungry trying to look for food when you are not walking is fraud the bible talk about now you are 25 you are still eating mama thank you you are a failure deuteronomy 15 verses 18 but that shall open the hand wide unto him and shall surely lend sufficient for his need. You cannot lend to until there is something in your hand. But in 2024, you shall lend to nations and you shall no longer borrow. Amen. No, some of you are looking at me and say, ah, no be a car I, I've made the declaration. Some of you looked at me like, huh? Sure. Learn to nation. I said you shall learn to nation. Amen. And you shall not borrow. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 
now Deuteronomy 15 11 he said there will always be poor there will always be poor people in the land yeah there will always be poor in your midst therefore I command you to be open handed towards the fellow Israel, Israelites who are poor and needy in your land so if you don't want to be among the poor, if you don't want to be known bad, you must put your hand to work. If you don't want to be known bad amongst the poor, which will always be amongst your midst, do what? Put your hand to work. You want to get married. Nobody want here for you. Mommy, my wedding. See my wedding card. My wedding is next week. Oh, my wedding is next month. <coughs> my wedding is next month. Fat, fat. Now, di, now this video, I want to know who loves me, self. Okay, go and walk. You want to get married as a woman, madam? Don't just go there with your banking body. Yeah. Don't just carry only banking body worker, enter marriage. Get a skill. Get a certificate. By the time you get there and they're asking you, what did you bring to the table? Tell them, I am the table. Factors that espouse or expedite tangibility. Number two, attitude. A comes before E. Attitude comes before evidence. The reason why A comes before E is because attitude comes before evidence. Attitude in life determines one's attitude. It is your attitude that determines your attitude. God sent Elijah to a woman. In the refat, when the brook got dried, he said, God, I have made a way for you. I have provided you a woman that would assist you. And Elijah saw the woman at the gate, at the entry or entrance of that community, while the woman was gathering some wood. And Elijah told the woman he was hungry. And the woman said she had a morsel of bread that she and her son would eat and die. And Elijah said, give it to me. That's a test of attitude. Now test of character be that oh. Yeah. Give it to me that I may eat. In this dispensation, in this era, in this epoch, in this cosmos, somebody will ask you to give him the only meal you have to eat with your child. Hmm? For me, I feel, while I was reading this passage in the morning, I said, this is a test, a test of character. Can God test you for tangibility? What is your strong reason? What is your strong proof for tangibility? Can God look? What can God look that you've done for him that will make him say, this is my son. This is my daughter. Let me just settle her this year and give her husband. What can God look? What can God see? What can God see what can what is the propelling factor that could enforce or that can contrive or bring about tangibility in your hand that was a test of character give it to me that I may eat and the woman did so and after that that was the end of poverty in the history of her lineage. A lady without attitude 
It's like a beautiful car parked without tire. A lady without attitude. It's like fine painted vehicle. Very beautiful car. Parked. But you don't get tire. And such vehicle goes nowhere. People admiring the vehicle. Wow, very fine car. Oh yeah now, perform. Without attitude, destination is not in view. Anointing will announce you. But attitude, good attitude, quality character will take you far. If you are beautiful and you have no attitude, I'm sorry. No matter the anointing I pour on you. Eh? Pour Goya. Pour this one, pour that one. Pour back to sender oil. Pour alabaster oil. I am helpless over your matter. You know, when a new helper comes, when a helper comes, because for every new level there is a new devil. When a new helper comes, you need a new demeanor. You drop the old one. The reason why your help has stopped helping you is because you changed. Yeah. Your character got sad. And he stopped helping. And you began to pray. Oh Lord, my help don't leave me. Now character, go and walk on your character. And as you walk on your character tonight, tangibility shall enter your hand. In the name of Jesus. Every change towards positive attitude gravitates helpers towards you. Stand to your feet. Sister Gift is here to say thank you. Just in that same very service, she also wrote down the things she wanted God to do for her. And she said her uncle who is um, in a political position in a very prominent place in this country, she said he was about to be shifted from his governor, um, governorial seat. He was about to be removed from the seat. And he has been beckoning on the family for everyone to stand in the place of prayers for him. She said in that very service, she had written down that prayer point and that request, saying, God of this commission, I know I just located this ministry. God of this commission, my uncle must not leave that seat. She said after they put the prayer point on the altar, just after she did that, stepping out of the church, the uncle called and said, oh, they have allowed me to return back to my seat and they have given me access. She said, the uncle called her, rejoicing, happy, excited. Ah, that I don't know what we have done. I don't know what you have done. But they have just called me back to return back to my position. And it's, it's, she's not taking it for granted. She has come to tell the God of this commission a big thank you. Amen. Not just that. She said ever since she has located this ministry, that anytime she leaves a business to come to church, and in returning to the business, there is always an overflow amen she said there is always an overflow she does not know what it is but she wants to thank god for bringing her here to this commission our brother said he has come to give the lord all the praise for the mantle of preservation that picked over him and his family in this house our brother said during the, the seven days of uh, being with the lord in the course of the uh, beginning of the year he was in one of those meetings and then he said mommy prophesied and said in the year 2024 there shall be no loss particularly that the mommy declared and said how many of you wants to drive cars this year can you remember mommy prayed against the spirit of accident he declared amen for himself and for his loved ones he said to his greatest surprise the sister called him and said that she that, that her daughter that is his niece was in school and then the husband went to pick the child from school the mother was also going to pick the same child from the school and then they said on this particular day the teacher was holding the hand of the child and then as soon as the teacher sighted 
the father. The teacher told the child, oh, that's your father coming over there. And the child ran in excitement to go and hug the father. But unknown to the child that there was a, a, a vehicle coming with high speed. Are we together? And then she said the teacher was shouting. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Everybody was shouting. The driver was trying to match the brake, but the vehicle kept on going on very high speed. And then he said from nowhere the baby fell on the road. And then the driver was trying to swap his way. He said only the God of Mommy Rose diverted that vehicle. It would have crushed the baby to death. But to the glory of God, the Lord preserved the life of that child and it's not taking it for granted as if the devil wanted that accident to happen by all means he said two days later two days later he said on the same spot where the god of our mother preserved the life of his niece a pregnant woman was standing on that road the same spot a vehicle from nowhere came cleared the pregnant woman the woman with the pregnancy died at the, at, the, at the spot and he's not taking it for granted it would have been his niece but because he belongs to a place where preservation speaks daily the lord preserved him the lord preserved the niece and he's come to say father thank you to the glory of God, our sisters come to give the Lord all the praise for the strange acts that God uh, 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 did in our life and in our family. She said she traveled to the village for the uh, Christmas season. She said to her greatest surprise, before she traveled, mommy had, she, she collected sand from the Ogula uh, prayer mountain, empowered and blessed. And she said her prayer point was, Lord, as we travel, we will return in peace. As we travel, we will come back in peace. And then she said before she left, one of the declarations she kept hearing from this altar, was that in this season nothing will be missing around your life to the glory of god and to our greatest surprise our sister said she was in the village on the 26th of december and then suddenly of course the youth were having a, a get together kind of events and then all of that they started hearing shouts from everywhere he said her husband was stepping out and the man said get out of this place and then she heard that sound from inside came outside and then saw that the man had you know driven off already and then she came inside trying to lock the gate she said to her greatest surprise people came and said ah madam run inside run inside people are coming to kill you and your children she said how what did we do they said the security man working in your house went to uh, the, the, the palace of the king somewhere in Kogi state and then in the process brought out his ak for uh ak for the seven or so and then just people you know you two are trying to just argue that normal way of doing things and then he brought out the gun and then shot and then with that one uh, uh, shot that he gave three people died at the spot and so the youth were agitated that of course this is where you work you are the security man here it means that they empowered to do this and all of that and they came after her and her family she said it was a very terrible scenario and then she didn't know what to do but one thing she kept on saying was that oh god of mommy rose preserve me and my children oh god of ogula preserve me and my children she said people came and said run out she said when she came outside and opened the gate she saw it to her she said it was as if the whole villagers were coming to just come and lynch her and her children she ran off went inside told the children please you need to run for safety everybody ran in various directions didn't know what to do she said the children went somewhere to go and hide in the house of a vigilante man now this angry roots knew that the children were there they went into that house started breaking things started breaking the glasses breaking everything around and were demanding that their children her three children be brought out for them to kill them now in that process god gave the children wisdom they went and hid under the bed and then these militants this 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 angry youths came and were on top of the bed they were there climbing breaking this and shouting where are these children where are these children but she said her children told and said while they were under the bed they kept praying oh god of mommy rose kevin please preserve us oh god of mommy rose we will not die like that oh god of Fogula, please bring us out safely hear me child of god they decided to burn the house because they were sure that they saw the children entering that compound but they didn't know their whereabouts so a demonic agent among them said let us burn down this house so they carried petrol poured all over the house one carried lighter and lighted it but the god of Ogula said no the lighter refused to respond hey are you just looking like that the 
a second one came and said no they have killed our people we must also retaliate and let us pour fresh petrol on the house again one brought another gallon of petrol poured it around the house and then lighted the matches uh, threw it inside to the glory of god the god of momiro showed up and quenched that fire he still did not respond are you looking like that he didn't just stop there the third agent of the devil came and said no i know what to do he carried yet a bigger jar and poured everywhere around the house at this point onlookers were already feeling sorry for our children say oh so this is how this will just end up like that he carried it emptied it around the house and brought matches brought light and everything he struck the matches to the glory of god the matches did not respond three good times now they cheered the young man sat on before he rescued the children, they came and just, you know, this plastic chair, they sliced it into tiny pieces, gathered it together. Okay, let us put fire here so that the fire cannot extend to the main building. They did the same thing, put petrol on it, put the fire on it. You know what God did? The fire did not respond all the same. Are you, are you just looking like that? And then somehow the children were able to escape through another channel outside. And then when they came home, to meet her she said hours later she saw her children with a lot of villagers behind them and they came and were telling her oh madam polly the god you serve is a mighty god please keep on serving that god it is the lord that has preserved your children and today she went to the village and returned back not even a hair from her head fell to the ground the lord god of mommy rose preserved her preserved her children and then she has come to say father thank you for preserving me the life of my children and the life of my husband our brother said he has come all the way from liberia to give god the praise he said he's been following this grace right from liberia and then last year around july he decided to come see our mother now he said one of the major problems that brought him was that the land where the church where the, the land the church had acquired and put up a project on it some satanic agents came and said the land does not belong to the church he said he, he tried to dialogue with them he did all manner of things for them to just allow him finish his project but they were bent on ensuring that they sent him packing from that premises he said but this is a land that got genuinely and we are using it for the sake of the kingdom please don't trouble us the people vowed and told him that they were never going to allow him to have peace on that property and then he did everything humanly possible when his strength failed him that was when he knew that he needed a higher level of spiritual intervention to be able to bring him out of that situation so saint of god he told himself no i have a voice in nigeria i will leave my country and travel to nigeria and see the woman of god i cannot be embarrassed just like that so he came to nigeria and what was his prayer point oh lord these people that have taken me to court that have vowed to push me and the church out of this property lord intervene and he came to church to the glory of God, mommy prayed for him, gave him ovulas and said, When you get there, use this ovulas and shower and enter that land and see what my God will do for you. A brother said to the glory of God, he left Nigeria and then went back, knowing fully well that he had contacted power and grace. He did as mommy said to the glory of God. He said, As soon as he stepped on that land, all those people that were fighting him came and began to apologize to him and say, We are sorry. So I came to him and said, we are sorry please forgive us he was confused he said a few days ago you were threatening me how come suddenly you are not begging me a down on him uh, that because that contacted power his enemies must submit to him he said to the glory of god they went back to court uh, and they said we don't have a case against this church we don't have a case against this prophet please release the land for him let him complete his building and to the glory of god the building has been completed no more stress no more struggle no more hostility and he has come to return all the praise to god he said he embarked on a trip just last um december he embarked on a trip to Ondos, and while he was um on that trip he had bagged um some of his certificate from school i mean since childbirth from his birth certificate to his um, university certificate he had bagged everything and put in his bag and when he got to the park the board he busted, he made sure he himself put his bag in the bus. Amen. 
He said on their trip to Ondo State, on approaching Ondo State, when they got to Ondo State, he alighted the bus and um, they began to look for his bag, nowhere to be found. And then he said, he remembered that before he embarked on that trip, he had taken one of the flyer of the ministry where mommy's face was and put in that bag. He said, at, uh, when he alighted the bus in Ondo State, they began looking for his bag, they could not find it. Then in that process, he decided to go home. They promised to look for the bag and get back to him. He said the next day, he received a call. And they called him and said, Mr. Kolade, where are you? Please come and see your bag. He said, that is not the main testimony. He said, on reaching there, he discovered that his bag was set ablaze. Who did it? No one knew. But when he got there, he saw that his bag had burnt. And eventually... Every other thing inside the bag got burnt. But his certificate, where he put the flyer on, no fire got to any part of the certificate. He is not taking it for granted. He has come to say thank you to the God of this commission. He said he had been in Quara State for the past 14 years, working for his in-law. And he said he has been working in this um, company, which is an oil sector for 14 years with a very poor salary of 45,000 naira, being an accountant of an oil sector. He said all this while he has been following our Modi, our mama on, on, on the social media platforms. He has been believing God for a deliverance. He has been believing God for a promotion. He has been believing God for an increment, but to no avail, but he kept on following. He said that this job in particular held him so bound that he was always working Monday to Saturdays and he had no free day for the past 14 years. You can imagine. He said so many times he wanted to come down here, but he didn't have the opportunity. But uh, as God will have it, just last December, he decided that he was not going to take it anymore and he was going to take that leap of faith that he needs to locate this ministry. All the way from Quara State, he decided to end the job and make his way here. And he's also here to say thank you God for bringing him here because he knows that his miracle has just started. Not just that. Mr. Jude here is here to celebrate God that despite the hardship for the past 14 years, God has graduated two of his sons from the university. And he is not taking it for granted. He said he knows that with men watching our mother from the social media platform, grace has been extended to him in so diverse ways. Even if he, his job, well, he wasn't having favor with his job. He said that the grace of this commission has helped him raise two of his children and they have graduated from the university. He is not taking it for granted. Sister Susan David said that she wants to give God the glory for what God has just started in her life. She said she located this ministry just last year and um just in the service where um daddy asked us uh, to come write a prayer request the seven things we want god to do and the seven things we don't want to see in 2024 she said in that very service amen she said all the things she had listed out prior to that time her husband had made a request for a plot of land that ought to be given to him which is over 60 plots she said they've been struggling from time to time and that land was not given she said in that very service just as they wrote down those prayer points and while they were praying she got a call from her husband and her husband said congratulations this land has been released to us and our family and she is not taking it for granted it didn't just end there she said her son also applied for the nigerian air force just last year he said he applied in november to no avail and just in um, january here the son put up with the application and just in that same very service she said she also made it as one of her prayer points she said just in the service immediately they left the church the boy just shouted mommy see my name my name has come out she said just like that the boy's name came out and the boy is so excited he has gone for his um, um training and he just returned back yesterday and he's not taking it for granted she's not taking it for granted she has come to tell the god of this commission thank you church mr michael jonathan has come to say a big thank you to god 
and also thank you to our mommy for giving him a home amen he said that prior to this time mommy had prophesied and given him a prophecy about uh, what happened in his life and after that deliverance had taken place um he said he had been looking and struggling to find a home and um eventually just yesterday mommy has just gifted him uh, a home and he's not taking it for granted he has come to say thank you mommy and thank you to the god of this commission i've been seeing you here for some time and suddenly you joined the department yes pastor james there was a time i got some suits for few people who are who pastor solomon how many and a shirt a shoe and complete set now for who pastor solomon and kings prince solomon keyboardies before i traveled abroad and got them this one which one will size this boy celebrate my mother here are you celebrating god okay leave it for them let's buy a new one for him are you just looking celebrate like that celebrate my mother so let's get suit for him get him shirt get him tie get him shoe can you celebrate my mother has the voice of solution let me hear him let me hear him yeah mommy i know girl has to stay help me hey yeah okay oh cha pastor james yeah. pastor james let's get him can you live alone can you live alone yes. as you been i feel live alone yes. if you feel cook live alone yes. celebrate my mother the voice of solution the angel global do you have do you have a girlfriend Mommy. eh no okay you want marry Mommy, i don't get money <laughs> now nah, looking at the talk now nah, that's why i asked him do you have any girlfriend like anyone that talks to you do you have any lady you talk to mm -hmm. you don't have but you want marry? I don't get money. Mommy. Okay. If I if I decide to assist you, if I decide to assist you, yeah. will you marry? Yes. Stop those sons of God for Jesus. You know what? Be husband and wife. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. So if you marry, yes. Bomb bomb picky yes mommy okay see what we go do we'll get him an accommodation jump those first together for my mother celebrate my mother okay, so we'll get him accommodation furnish the place thank you mommy come on jump your hands together for my mother and then we'll go package the woman for you are you celebrating god i will never forget you mommy you will never forget me. Yes, you no be problem. my mother. Eh? You be my mother. Somebody celebrates my mother. Do it bigger, do it bigger, do it bigger, do it bigger. You go tell me the kind of business where you feed do. Okay, there is a to 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 in the house. You go tell me the kind of business where you like, where you go feed do. Okay, mommy. Yeah, yeah. Total transformation. Do you have do you have a bank account? No, mommy. I go open bank account. Oh. Celebrate God. Yeah. We go open an account for you. Thank you, mommy. You must be responsible. Thank you, mommy. And then we go look for woman. Some of them don't adjust. Some of them look at them adjusting. I don't see you now. You've been adjusting since. Huh? You go go look anywhere where you see. You go tell me. Why there is a repugnant in the house. He can fight for himself. And so you, when you look anywhere where you see, you point. Yeah? Eh? Mommy. Make I give you, I'll be one fine. <laughs> you want to look for? 
or make I look for? Make I leave you? Mommy, look for me. <laughs> I want you to approach a woman by yourself. Mommy, I hear. You hear me? Yes, ma. It's well with you, my son. Thank you, mommy. You will succeed, eh? Amen. Amen. You will prosper. Amen. You will break the genes of poverty in your father's house. Amen. Amen. You go marry, don't worry. God bless you. Chop those friends together for Jesus. Dependent on you, show yourself so strong. In this heart, take a place and stand fast. Flap your wings around, touching every soul. Come touch us one more time.